YouTube. All right, this is where I'm at right now. Got the whole rear section out of the bike. Got the rear tire right there. You can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, the sprocket's going to be on the right side because I'm going to run a jack shaft. So this is what I'm going to have to do is I've cut a section of these out of another three-wheeler. I'm actually going to use these, this right here, and this bend on my net on the um, framework for this now so basically here I'm gonna cut here I'm gonna cut here and I'm gonna cut here on both sides and that's gonna remove all this here and then that's gonna leave a flat platform here for me to put weld a flat plate in with the jack shaft and bearings and whatnot so yep so that's what I got going on so far now the rear tire will probably come to right about here, let me pull over here, in the whole scheme of things. So, let me see here. Oh, I got the hiccups. I hate hiccups. So, this is what I got so far. I'm just cutting and splicing and I'll probably use some of that stuff to cut up and uh, weld to the rear section and whatnot. Uh, I have to, um, I have a rear axle for it. I don't know if it's going to be long enough. Um, I've got a buddy who's got a lathe so I need to turn down a certain part of it. I'll show you here. So. Here's the frame pieces I'm going to use. Uh, the axle, the rear, rear tire is going to sit out on that. So, anyways, here's the rear. This was a front axle out of another three wheeler I had. What I got to do here is I need to turn this. Um, I don't know if you see. Basically, what they've done is they've turned this whole rod down to a certain size. I'm not sure what it's a metric size. And they've stopped here. What I need to do is I need to bring this pretty much all the way up to that darker spot right there. So I got a buddy with a lathe, I just, lathe which actually he owns my old lathe, a uh, small one. And um, it was actually my dad's and he gave it to him. So uh, before he, before my dad passed away, he promised to give it to him. So I gave it to him, but he said that I could use it whenever I needed to. So I'm going to use it. So I just got to call him up. He, uh, he basically tore it apart to restore it. And hopefully he's got it all back together because uh, I really want to just turn this piece down. If I can't, then I'm just going to buy a piece of solid stock and do it all myself. So that's my next thing to do um, for a rear axle piece, and then i got to build the spacers and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I'm going to get to cutting and whatnot and uh, mocking this thing up. And uh, that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to go with the actually one inch um, shaft this time and bearings instead of the three quarter or seven eighths, whatever I went with last time on my other mini bike right there. So I'm going to go with a lot bigger, beefier stuff because this is going to be, this is going to take a lot more abuse. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at today, Saturday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, I haven't had any Epic Fools jokes pulled on me yet, but I'm waiting patiently. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got for now. Um, have a good Saturday and keep on building. Talk to you later. Bye.